What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be going over the best armor to wear to get XP. I'm going to give you guys the best XP loadouts possible so that you guys know what you guys should be asking because a common question that I have been coming across is people will be like, hey, I need training armor and I'll go, oh, okay, cool. What do you mean to craft you? And their response is, I have no idea. So this is so you can get an idea. And we're also going to be talking about some of the XP methods and some mythicals that also assist you for very handy utilities, as well as some other consumable things as well that you guys will find helpful. So we're gonna be talking about all that today in today's video. So before we jump into the first piece, which will be the loadout for you guys to get the maximum amounts of XP, it's just a reminder that if you leave a, a comment on the video, you're entered into the giveaway. It'd be real cool if you did that. And if you really enjoy Elder Scrolls Online content, uh, you know, you should click the subscribe button because, you know, it would be real cool if you did. But let's talk about training gear. Training gear comes in all shapes and sizes, but I'm going to be recommending two very specific sets for you guys, each with a very specific purpose. The first one is going to be Heartland. Most people look at Heartland and think, hmm, this is a set that's going to be used to get extra sharpened damage or extra nern hole damage. Most people don't consider that this set also can have a training trait on it and it will give you the double effect of training, which means you'll be getting double the amount of XP from your weapon than you would be from other places. And that weapon buff is hugely beneficial for you guys. So if you're level 10 and you're wielding this, you're gonna be getting crazy amounts of XP, even if you only upgrade this to purple, which is going to be my suggestion for you guys. It's going to be, depending on the level, so if you have a 160 character, it's worth golding out your weapon into having gold. So you get that extra bits, like extra oomph of XP. But if you're making it for like level 10, 20, 30, or anything that's not 160, I would suggest purpling it out. Purple mats are very, very cheap and it's very easy to get. And most people, myself included, if you need it on Xbox and A, I mean, I'll make purple stuff for free, especially if you have some of the mats, because I do kind of run out of purple sometimes. But again, it's so cheap that it's really negligible. The next set that I'm going to be recommending for you guys for low levels is going to be the beautiful Twiceborn. Why I suggest this set for pretty much everyone who's especially doing stuff like low level battlegrounds, dungeons, etc., is as you level up, the effect of having two Munduses does not decrease. So having a Mundus stone is like having a free five piece set. And then having another one is like another free five piece set. But what's really nice with this one is, is as you level up, the power of those Munda stones does not go down. So you get a free extra bit of juice in your build. So you could be level 10, you know, wearing this, getting your double XP, and then you could go all the way up to level 50 and still be wearing this level 10 gear and still be schmacking kids because you're gonna have that extra Munda stone power. A quick suggestion for those of you who are, you know, new to the game and don't know which Mundus is to get. If you're a Stam character, I suggest the Max Stam, Max weapon damage, mag, max mag, max spell damage. Easy ones to do. It'll very, it'll be very easy for solo content for you to be able to just cruise through and you'll never really have to worry about it. And some other supplemental items that you guys can be wearing with those because you'll have two extra armor slots. I want you guys to consider things such as like the Oaken Soul Ring. So for a lot of players, they have a lot of characters that don't do a whole lot. And it makes it really easy to wear something like the Oaken Soul Ring and be able to still do like normal dungeons, normal battlegrounds, even on a character that's wearing training gear. And then when you're doing stuff like your daily quests, your crafting writs, you're gonna be getting tons of XP and that's just gonna be bolstered by the XP armor that you're wearing. So that's a suggestion that I want you guys to consider. Another mythical that I really like is the Mora's Whisper. Now this is a shoulder piece that will give you basically an XP buff as well as a bunch of other buffs based on how many of Shalador's books you have on that character. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of books on that character, it's not going to be, you know, the most groundbreaking thing in the world, but it is still a really cool item to consider. And then finally, we have the funniest one of all, and that is the Ring of Mara. One of the most underutilized items in the game for a couple reasons, but I do think it has some interesting utility that really never gets talked about. So here's that utility. Basically, your character, now this is important because this is a character, and get married to another character in the game. 
So if you have a friend, you can get married. Your character, Jim Bob, can get married to their Mary Schmim, and you can have 10% XP anytime you guys are grouped together. You do not have to be in the same area together, which I think is really important. It's super important because most people will think like, oh, well, you don't have to constantly be playing with this person. And the answer to that is not necessarily they just have to be in the group with you. So that's a fun thing to consider too, is you don't have to be with this person, you just have to be in the group with them. I personally have never used this items because majority of my friends that uh, play ESO are all men, and I don't know how to break it to them that I just have this Pledge of Mara sitting around here. Ha! <laughs> Gay! But you know, <clears throat> anywho, so, a couple other quick things for you guys to consider besides the actual things that we've been talking about is traits on the jewelry. I really think you guys should consider Swift. Another really cool mythical to use if you guys would consider it would be the Ring of the Wild Hunt. It makes you run really fast, which might sound mundane, but once you put it on, you never want to take it off ever again. Being able to run fast in ESO is a godsend and a blessing. So let's talk about now some quick XP areas that I think are really good for newer players. I do think the number one is the Alakir Desert, followed closely by the Necropolis, also in the Alakir Desert. The problem with the Necropolis is you're gonna run into a bit of an issue where there's tons of people there usually, whereas the Alakir Desert, the XP is shared, so it doesn't matter that there's a bunch of people there. Some other really good ones that kind of get into more of like the, you know, you need you know more mid-game kind of assistance with would be things like the Black Rose Prison, farming the second round over and over again, also, things like Skyreach are also really good XP methods. But honestly, this may be controversial, but if you're just wearing this and just doing daily activities like Ritz, daily battlegrounds, daily dungeons, like there's no pressure to go out and grind thousands of CP. Just slap on a Sigic Ambrosia and enjoy the game. I mean, honestly, like I've never once grinded out CP levels ever. Even when I was like CP 40, I didn't feel like it was like, oh, I need to get to 160. I have to get to 160. Because at the end of the day, ESO is a game where there's tons of activities, social, PVE, PVP. You can still participate in those regardless of what CP you are due to scaling. So don't feel like there's this pressure to go out and grind. Really focus on enjoying the game. And that's where I'm gonna leave you guys today. And I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. You better remember to like and subscribe to Jake Clips. Or you should. I might have to pluck your eyes if you don't. Or better yet, I'll skip rope with your entrails. Do it now. Subscribe. Ta-ta. Off with you.